and welcome to my channel. Hi guys, this is Brenda from Planty Pants. I'm alive. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so sorry. I have, I'm just realizing, actually I've known, I have not made a video for five months. And I'm so sorry for that. Um, but I do want to reach out and just thank um, the people that have sent me messages and seeing what was going on, if I'm okay. And I have had a rough few months. Um, so I'll talk about that for just a minute without going into too much detail. I have had some health issues. Um, last October, I got a really bad um, case of food poisoning really bad. I ended up in the emergency room two different times, three days apart, um, because I just couldn't stop being sick because I have issues with my stomach and my digestive system. So um, I finally got that under control, but it really, it took me out for like almost a month with just my, my energy level. I like had no energy at all. It was insane. So um, besides that, in the process of getting the food poisoning, I injured my rib um, in the shower. And I don't know if my elbow hit my rib or if I hit the side of the tub. My husband was trying to help me because I, hit a, I was so, so sick, I couldn't do anything by myself. It was ridiculous, but anyway, I made it through all of that. And then um, I've been dealing with um, some skin cancer. I was diagnosed with basal cell carcinoma I had a little tiny spot on my cheek and now I have an inch long incision here that I had to go in and remove it and that was really scary and then I had to go back again a few weeks later because I had a couple of other spots that they froze off. Anyway, you know, I'm a redhead or I used to be. So I've been dealing with all of that. We had a death in the family. Things just have, have just been crazy. But not only that, you guys, to be perfectly honest, just the world in general has kind of been overwhelming me lately. Just lots of things. Going to work. Um, just everything. And um, I, I, I guess I just wanted to have a little bit of a conversation about why I make videos. To top everything off, you guys, I haven't made a video in five months. And this past Sunday, today's Tuesday. I'm just getting home from work. Um, this past Sunday, I did, I literally filmed for like three hours. I filmed my whole house because I have so many more plants than I have had in the past. I've added so many more grow lights and my plants are just thriving. And I just love, I love houseplant tours. So I was going to do a houseplant tour. So that's what I did. And then that same day, that night, I got an email from YouTube that said that, said that they were going to demonetize me. Because I haven't made a video on my land, you guys. First of all, I don't even hardly make any money. But I don't make videos to make money, really. But having said that, I am getting close to retirement, and I was kind of hoping that this could be sort of, sort of a residual income. Not a lot, just anything that would help. But now they're just saying, no, nah, we're going to take it away. So anyways, they're giving me 30 days. So coincidentally, I made that video. So anyways... Now that I've said all that and bored you all to pieces, I, the reason why I grow plants, I have been growing plants since I moved out of my mother's house. And I have always had plants. I haven't had as many as I have now. Now I have like probably 350, but I just love them. I love to look at them. I love to watch them grow. I love to propagate them. I love to cut them. I love to try different things with them, different lights, different growing mediums. I have a lot of things in Lechuza Pond now and Lekka, and I love that. And I'm just really excited. I, I Plants are my life, really. It's, it's so bizarre. I, I get up in the morning, and I have to have at least 10 minutes to go around and look at everything before I go to work. And the first thing I do when I get home is walk around, look at my plants, put water in the humidifier, and all that stuff. So I don't, I don't want to see myself, or I don't want... I don't want to be an influencer. I, I don't think I'm an influencer. I grow plants... What might work for me might, might not work for you. You know what I mean? So I don't want to be like, do what I say and you'll have healthy plants. I just like to show them and talk about them. And I, I like to chat about them when I'm repotting them. And those are my videos. Um, simply, those are my videos. So 
I am going, I cannot commit to make a video a week. I think it's so funny that I try to do one every week. I have a full-time job. Um, I only have 87 videos total, so clearly I have not been doing one every week. So I've, been, I've had this channel for three, over three years. And um, to be honest, I was really getting discouraged with my videos, my last two or three videos. I think I got like two or three hundred views and that just hurts, it hurts my feelings a little bit. <laughs> It so, sounds so stupid, but it kind of does. It's like, damn, what am I doing wrong? Oh, sorry, I cussed. What am I doing wrong? Um, I don't get a lot of feedback. I really need feedback, and I watch other YouTubers, and I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm sharing things that are interesting, but people just aren't watching. So I really, I've been um, really struggling with my channel and what I'm doing. So I'm not going to stop making videos. Anyway, I'm hoping to be able to retire in about a year and a half. And I just ask you, if you watch my videos, please consider subscribing. That's the way that you can help me. Just subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Say something. Say, hey. Say, hey, you're doing a good job. Hey, your videos suck. Don't say that. That will hurt my feelings. <laughs> but <laughs> can crit Constructive criticism is good. I'm not that sensitive. But anyways, now that I've told you all that, way too much information, I'm sorry. I'm better. I'm feeling healthy again. Um, yes, yeah, so <clears throat> I am going to do like three, probably three videos. This, a sunroom video, the living room video, and the dining room, no, four videos. Sunroom, kitchen, living room. And probably the dining room and upstairs combined because I have plants upstairs in bedrooms and in the bathroom. Um, so this one, I'm sorry, such a long introduction. Um, I think I'm going to start with the, um, the living room. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm sorry that I rambled on and I've missed you all very, very much. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please consider subscribing and enjoy. All right, in the next room that I'm going to be filming today is my sunroom. It used to be called the plant room, but let's get real. I have plants absolutely everywhere in my house. It's hard to get the whole scope of um, what is in here, but I have tons and tons of plants in here. And yeah, so let's get started. All right, the first plant, since it starts up here, let me just show you. See all these baskets? I made those. I used to take basket weaving clothes. Oh, except for that one. I didn't make that butt basket, the dark brown one. But all the other ones I made. And then some. I gave a lot away. Anyway, um, yeah, so this pothos grows down to this beautiful shell planter, and that's where it lives. It's twining and winding everywhere. And there's also a piece of Syngonium in there, which I think is really hilarious. Um, but she's growing just fine. It's regular emerald Syngonium. So that's just a fun little spot to hang out. Of course, this is all my... I know you all have a corner just like that. <laughs> Admit it. All right, up here is a beautiful golden pothos. I hope you can see it. Um, gorgeous gorgeous pothos. It winds its way all the way over to here, as you can see, right down to there. And then um, it's in this really beautiful planter that I found at an antique mall. It's made in Indonesia. It has this really cool thing on the, on the rope, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if you can see this piece of bamboo, but what is this? It's part of the thing. It's a piece of bamboo that has two pieces. Hope you can see that. Anyways, if anyone knows, tell me. So let's just do the hanging plants first. This is just a cute little coconut shell planter with a baby spider plant in it. Um, not sure how well it's doing, but I guess it's doing okay. Here is a beautiful Hoya um, Betonia and she flowers constantly. Look, she's flowering now. She's forever flowering. Can you see that? Yep. You can see all the peduncles right here. She just flowers all year round. It's really, oh my gosh, look, I'm so glad I turned it around. Look at all this. Um, 
It's my only Hoya that flowers like all, well, no, my Hoya Grandiflora, or Multiflora, that one also does, but so she's doing really, really well in that window. And then here is a, um, it's a, just an ivy, a really small ivy, super, super cute. It's growing, it's growing in this, um, planter and it's, I have it like hanging everywhere. Like, look, it goes over to here and it hangs down to here. Here it's, here the leaves are not so close together. So I'm not sure what the deal is with this plant, but it's really cool and I love it. And then on this, this is a succulent that I have, um, Assistus quadrangularis. This plant is so cool. Like right now, it just put out this new piece. You can see the lighter color um, and the cute little leaves that it puts out. So sticking cute. And it really just continues to grow. Like this is another new piece. Um, I love it. It's really long. I probably should break some of these longer pieces, or at least this one. Oh, look, there's another new piece. I didn't even see it. Oh, I love it. Um, so it's really growing well. And here is, what is this called again? It's called a, oh my gosh, there it is right there. Polynesian Ivy. To me, it feels like a kind of a begonia, you guys. But this plant, let me get this off of here. Let's get off. Oh my gosh. This plant is so stinking beautiful. Look at the leaves. Look at the leaves. Look. Let me see if I can find just a beautiful piece right here for you. Look. It almost looks like a shingling plant. Oh. I just, I hope you can see this as well. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, and it grows really fast. The next hanging plant is way over here. I bought these planters. Um, and in the top one, I have a spider plant. I just planted these recently and I think they're going to be okay. Still have to, you know, just getting used to her new home. I gotta make sure that it's doing all right. I just gave it a drink yesterday. Oh my gosh, I don't even want you to see this. So, and then this is two different cuttings of, um, there's a piece of pepper, kind of peperomia, and then two different kinds of peperomia, I think so cute and this third one down here is a piece of Hoya curtsii and if this makes it it'll be a freaking miracle because you guys have killed every single Hoya curtsii I've tried to grow period the end so let's see what happens and this I just stuck a cute little syngonium in this last one um because it was cute yeah so there's that and here is one of the Hoyas that I just had to prune lately this big gigantic Hoya pubicalyx um, that I started from cutting. She's absolutely insane. Uh, again, I'm on peduncle watch. I haven't seen one on this plant yet, but she usually throws out a few. So beautiful, beautiful Hoya. Oops, did I miss that piece? I, anyways, I cut off all the dead stuff and pruned it really good. So there's, I don't know what this plant's called. Peperomia prostata. Is it called something else like a string of uh, beetles or something? I don't know. But really, really pretty leaves. Love this little plant. Grows, grows really well right here in this window. It's getting quite a bit of sun, quite a bit of sun. This is some sort of Ripsalis. Um, let me just take this off for a second. If I can, let go. Okay, let me put this down here. So this, it's a beautiful Ripsalis. Last year, oh look, it's flowering. Oh my gosh, I was just gonna say, last year I put out flowers, and this year it is too. Can you see? So stinking cute, oh my gosh. Look, they're so tiny. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if you guys can see this. So cute. Um, wow, I'm happy to say there's more flowers this year, so that's good. It looks like there's gonna be more coming. Um, and this is my, um, Burroughs, I mean, not, yeah, Burroughs tail cactus. Um, but I feel like there might be one piece of donkey in here. Yeah, there is. So this is a Burroughs tail cactus, you guys, right? Obviously. It really needs to be pruned. I mean, what the hell is that? But look, there's a donkey. There's one piece of donkey in it. I started this pot myself. So clearly I accidentally put a piece of donkey in there too. <laughs> 
Oh, wait, there's two pieces. No, that's the same piece. That's the same piece. Wow, it's long. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Look how long that piece is. Look. Hold on. All the way to there. I didn't know it was that long. Holy moly moly. All right. This is my beautiful Million Hearts plant. And I just love this plant. I share it with so many people. It's so easy to propagate. You just cut a piece off and stick it in water. And if I could find a flower right now for you, it would be so amazing. I'll put one down in the in the um in the corner, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find a flower. But they're the most tiny little teeny weeny flowers and they grow like right right in the corner and they only grow one at a time teeny weeny little white bells here is a donkey tail there's not a piece of a burrow's tail in here these are all donkeys although this piece what is that see another this is another one that i started this is not a donkey tail this is some sort of other succulent that i stuck in there accidentally <laughs> whatever all right up top here is another um, oh my gosh, another succulent, another ripsalis. I don't know what kind it is, but it hasn't flowered, but look how cool it is. Isn't that cool? You see? Really, really cool. And then, of course, I have this beautiful neon pothos that I have trained up that two double-decker macrame planter that somehow, I don't know whether I bought it or what, but over here is... Um, hopefully going to be propagations of this plant right here which is a Madagascar jasmine. We'll get to that one in a minute. I just repotted that Madagascar jasmine because it looked really funky and I cut some pieces and I did some research and it said just stick them in water so we'll see what happens. All right so now we're going to start with the plants on the shelves. We do one shelf at a time. All right, you guys, I am absolutely thrilled to tell you that this is my um, pregnant onion. Let me make it so you can see this. Hold on. This is my pregnant, pregnant onion plant. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm trying not to let it sit on itself. These long, beautiful, trailing leaves. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I battled um, scale with this plant and I was really upset about it. But as you can see, she's got babies, she's putting out new growth, and look what we have here. Oh my land. I didn't even know they flowered. I'm going to put a picture of what it looks like. I can't even wait to see it and take a picture. But this is my pregnant onion. And this mama is flowering. So she lives right up here. And she's very precarious. And I'm careful with her. Super careful with her. But I'm watching this and I'm following it really carefully. Because I want to see when, when it gets ready to flower. Yeah. Okay, so behind that, I have a Raphidophora tetrasperma that is really probably not climbing up this pole. And look how tall it is. Well, let me just show you from the base. There's the base. Goes up to here. But then it goes this way. And she's right here. And she's still putting, putting out. So she's going to be moved probably up to the bathroom. And, okay, so what else we have here is the philodendron... Go well, DI. That's what the leaves look like. And she's, hold on. She's kind of a slow grower. Um, these are just beneficial mites, you guys, if you see them everywhere. Californicus. Um, this is kind of a slow grower. And I have another one down here. Like, here's the other one, you guys. And this doesn't even look like it. It used to look like a, well, a Goeldii, but now that it now that it really did poorly, and I feel like I cut it off here, I did. I cut it off and then just let it start again. But look at the leaves. It doesn't even look anything like a Goeldii. So, and here is, oh, gross. Here, this is a Christmas cactus. The mayor, I mean, not a Christmas cactus, Brenda. Amaryllis, which may or may not come back. It still feels firm. 
This is the Epipremnum aplysimum. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Look at the leaves. They have silver stripes. It's an injustice that you can't see the gorgeous silver stripes on these leaves. This plant is absolutely gorgeous. Here is that jasmine, Madagascar jasmine. I just wanted it to flower one more time, so I just repotted it, and we'll see how she does. You can see she was really um, stressed out. <clears throat> Back here is a philodendron hope, which is giving me a new leaf right now. Every time I see a little tiny spot, you guys, I flip. I freak out. It's like, what is it? Um, so this plant's growing really, really well. I should turn it around. Probably I will do that right now. Might as well give her a spin. Oh. Hold on. There we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. What the hell? Oh. Why does everything have to be such a chore? And this plant right here in the front is my beautiful, you guys, this plant is so pretty. I'm not going to remember it. Oh my gosh, where's the other tag? Okay. Alsobia dianthiflora. You guys, this puts out the most beautiful little flowers. The thing about these are, is that they are so prolific. They grow so fast and they also lose leaves really fast. Like see all these dead leaves that I literally, literally every day I just pull off dead leaves. Um, but they, they will, it will, she will give you a flower like in every little rosette thing here. So pretty. And I just chopped it back the other day too because it was kind of wild and some of the stems were dead. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. Here's some more stems of it. Alsobia dianthiflora. Right here I have a cute little Monstera adansonii that's growing in a, um, just a cute little thing magee that I found at the, Flea market. All right, down here is that other pathetic little Gualdi eye. I'm keeping my eye on. These are three spider plants that I'm now growing in um, Lekka. And the reason why is because I had a beautiful spider plant that I bought. It was absolutely stunning. And immediately, you see the roots? They're loving it. Um, I got this at the flea market, you guys. This is an old Chinese teapot, but it didn't have a lid. I didn't care. It was only like, it was like $5. Isn't it cool? Um, so I slowly lost, look, loves, loves being in Lekka. I mean, this one's in pond. Um, actually, I feel like it needs a little bit more water in there. So, um, I, it slowly died. So honestly, every freaking spider plant that I've ever had, had just croaks. So, um, I just decided to grow them in water and now they're just growing really, really, really well, um, in water. See, so they can live for a long time that way. And not only that, this one put out, oh, now it's putting out another one. Look, first of all, this was not there when I put it in the water. Okay. This, this. Um, baby and she's in full flower right now I don't know if y'all can see these beautiful flowers yep see it and this one has like another side baby with more flowers so this, these are going to be like there's a there's a spider plant baby there's a spider plant baby so these are all going to be babies at the ends and then I'm just noticing today that she's putting out this other one and this one already had um, one of these. This the secondary one grew. This is definitely growing since I put it in there. Back there is my staghorn fern, which is another plant that I have battled on and off with. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not doing a good job with the camera. Um, scale, freaking scale. But it looks okay right now. This is just a piece of global green that I have. Uh, in this beautiful antique copper pitcher. Because I'm a weirdo. And then there's a Crimson Queen Hoya that I have in that cute little pot back there. And she's growing just fine. And she got, she was wrapping around something and I didn't catch it. So <laughs> I caught it and stopped it. Down here I have a beautiful Anthurium. I don't know what it's called, but it's just the ones that have the red flowers. Um, and she's in Lekka. I mean, pond. 
And this is funky little Peperomia. I don't even know where I got it, you guys. And I just can't get rid of it because it's still alive. This is growing really, really well. Um, since I repotted it, it is my blue, oh my gosh, my blue star fern. They like to be really wet, you guys. It's sitting in water right now. And so is this um, lemon button fern. They just sit in water and they grow pretty well. I repotted both of them recently. So they're doing all right. These are the, like, I only have a couple of ferns. I feel like it's only these two. This one, I just repotted and, and trimmed it back. It's looking like it's suffering still a little bit, but I'm not giving up yet. So there's that. Over here, I have another spider plant that I just potted in a cute little um, hanging pot. I don't know where to put it yet, so it's just hanging here. And this just soil mixture. This is my, my propagation, most of them tray, except for everywhere else where they're hanging and stuff. Um, quite a few things over here, but mostly... Um, Chinese evergreen, some syngonium that don't look very good at all, some um, global green pothos, um, syngonium maria, and then I have this really beautiful Sansevieria laurentii that's living in um, Lechuza Pond right there. So, Susan Mess is here. I have a little mess. This is um, a syngonium chia pence that I'm going to sell. <clears throat> These are pieces of um, uh, Raphidophora, not Tetrasperma, but another kind of Raphidophora. Um, and I'll show you that when I get to the living room. I'm just trying to root them in here. I don't like to throw them away, but they get so weird, and so I cut them. Um, down here, I think, is a little piece of... Uh, it is, hold on. A little piece of um, my Philodendron Giganteum. <laughs> That's ready to be. Not really, though. The roots aren't that good. See? I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. I gotta, I gotta look at that more closely. Right here is a top cutting of a silver sword philodendron. Let me get this out of the way. So, she's looking pretty good right there. Again, she lives in Lekka. And um, she already has roots, so hopefully she will continue to thrive. This is just a cash pot. Right here are the pieces of the um, Hoya that I cut the other day. I cut quite a few, like three or four of my Hoyas back. So I'm propagating them in water. Um, hopefully they'll take. <coughs> Excuse me. Here I'm propagating um, pieces of Neon Pothos in water. And some of them are really long. They're really, they're actually ready to be planted. Look at the roots. They're ready to be planted. And here's just a bunch of pieces of Cebu Blue that are propagating. Another Amaryllis that may or may not flower from last year, you guys. Hey, I got to try, you know? Okay, so this is um, a lipstick plant, a pagoda lipstick plant that's growing in Lekka. And it's already flowered, but it's putting out, it puts out new growth. Really, it really does every year. So it grows very well right there. Okay, on this rack, on the top here, I have um, another, um, oh my gosh, Syngonium Mojito. I just love these leaves. I am a sucker for that. Look, so beautiful. So beautiful. I hope you can see good. Um, but it's in a really small pot. It's just, I don't want it to fall over, so I have it in another Michael's pot. It was like $5, you guys. Really heavy. Good cash pot. Back here, we have another Syngonium. I just really love Syngonium, you guys. Like, look how this is growing, first of all. Obviously, I need to cut that off, right? So, but it's so cute. The Syngonium, I feel like it's an emerald, maybe, but it's nice and healthy. And then behind that, I have another Syngonium, which is... I think a Three Kings, maybe. I'm not certain. I might have lost. I think this is the last of my Three Kings, but it's not really looking like a Three Kings. All right, so this is another Skindapsis. Um, I think it's another Exotica, actually. Look how big the leaves are once again. Look how big the leaves are. Insane, right? Yeah, it is. Um, 
And then back here, I have, and I just put back here, this anthurium with the red flowers. First of all, I don't think you can see that, but that one right there, hold on a second, let me just see if I can turn this around so you can see this flower. This is like a, a mutant flower, which I thought was really cool looking, so I want you to see it. Let me get this leaf out of the way. Get out of here. See? Can you see that? <laughs> it's got another little mini flower growing separately right here. Yeah. Anyway. So that loves it right there. I mean, that's in Lekka too, in a cash pot. And then this is my uh, Monstera Dubia. This I've had a lot of fun with you guys. I've had this plant for a long, long time and I literally, this is what I did. I literally just wrapped it. Let's see if I can get good lighting here. I wrapped it around and kept wrapping it around and wrapping it around and wrapping it around. So the whole plant is just on this moss pole. It's just stuck to it all over the place. But you can see some of the leaves got to be really big. Like look at the size of this one right here. It's hidden, but you see how big it is underneath there? Really, really, really pretty. So there's that. And then back here is my um, alocasia Real Shields, giving me a new leaf right now, right there. Alocasia Real Shields. And then here is another one of those um, plants, what they're called again? Alsobia Diantheflorus, another one of those. I started this, when I got this plant, when I bought this plant, what I bought was little, like probably four or five of these little rosettes. And I was able to turn that into these two big full plants so yeah anyways all right <clears throat> oh my goodness I skipped you I'm sorry this is my beautiful Sansevieria um teddy bear paws she goes all the way down oh I'm sorry I forgot you she goes all the way down almost to the floor okay so on this shelf, we have my Alocasia Red Secret. This is all that's left of her. Literally, all that's left of her. And um, hopefully she's going to come back. She struggled, so we'll see. Oops. Okay, so this is my string of turtles. And she's flowering again. I keep pinching off the flowers, but she just keeps flowering. Um, I propagate these all the time. I take one strand and I put them in a little pot with moss and it grows into this friggin plant and I sell it for twelve dollars really fast too in my moss cabinet I mean my grow cabinet this is my gorgeous philodendron moonlight I can't even believe clearly it needs a repot look how beautiful it is growing look at it it's insane so so pretty this is a piece of my philodendron giganteum that I'm waiting to see if it's gonna come up or not that's my disgusting little fungus gnat catcher. This is my newest acquisition. Just a little bit of dirt there. This is a philodendron glacier that I just picked up on Friday. Absolutely beautiful. Just trying to get her acclimated her here. I sprayed her with, um, you know, neem oil spray, but she was perfect anyway. So really beautiful. Um, here's, I, I don't know what kind of Syngonium this is, but I'm absolutely in love with it. Again, I have to cut it off and start it over again because it looks ridiculous, but look how beautiful those leaves are. Aren't they pretty? And this is a Huernia that I repotted up because I had to because all the pieces broke off, which happens to me all the time. Super annoying. Um, this, I think, is... An alocasia, oh my gosh, I don't know what, I don't know what kind it is. I don't know what kind it is. I should know, but look, that's the leaf, the newest leaf. It's definitely not, um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's beautiful. This is my miserable little friggin' bubblegum syngonium pieces that I'm trying to save. They may or may not make it. You can tell how I feel about those. This is another, actually another piece of silver sword that I have growing in Lekka. Um, slowly growing in Lekka. 
This is my, um, I just had to put these in here today. It's my Alocasia Poly, but it was doing really poorly, so I, really poorly, so I saved what I could, so I'm gonna, just going to try to regenerate it in this um, pond. And then here is my beautiful Philodendron Red Imperial, just like the Golden. It is just putting out these big, beautiful leaves, growing really fast. Um, and this is another little pathetic over ear. You guys, I'm trying so hard to save them, but they don't look very good. Like, look at that. Look at that leaf right there. I mean, it's gone. <sighs> anyway. Okay. Before I go down to the next one, I forgot to show you these. These are my mother of million plants that I'm ready to sell. A couple of Manjula pothos that I'm ready to sell. And these are two prop boxes. And I'm so super excited to tell you that I have some. Ooh, look at these. These are... I have at least three or four alocasia um, silver dragons in here. Super excited about that. And these are all corms that I haven't done anything yet. Down here, I have two beautiful, um, oh my goodness, I forget what these are, spiderwort? No, Mexican butterwort flowering. I have two more small ones that are flowering right here that I'm going to sell. This is my Alocasia Hilo Beauty on its last leg. I may or may not have, be able to keep it. And this is another Alocasia that's on its last legs. And this is an Alocasia Serendipity. It's doing pretty good. It had a little bit of damage, so I'm blasting her with the light. Back there is a little Hartley Philodendron. I don't even know why it's there. Okay, these are the pieces of Brazilian Lady that I cut off that plant that was in the dining room. So they're growing, they're growing fine. The roots are huge. They're ready to be potted up. I just have to pot them up. I have no excuse except for just to do it. It's so stupid. I'm going to do it soon. This is, oh my goodness, this is the bottom of what's left of my Philodendron Gigantium. But we have some new growth, so I'll be planting that up. This is what's left of my, um, oh my gosh, you know what it is, um, oh, I don't even, Calathea, some kind of Calathea, I've been trying to save this plant, I'm not going to save it, I don't know what's going to happen, I think it's going to die. This is my beautiful pitcher plant, and I just repotted it recently, it sits, it's forever wet. But look what I just found, a brand new flower coming right here. That's a flower. I'll show you a picture of what a flower looks like in the right corner because I've, it's flowered like four times, but it's flowering again. And then there's another little um, Mother of Millions. And then I feel like I forgot to show you over here. I did. This beautiful butterwort. It's in full flower. I didn't even talk about that look how beautiful she is so I'm keeping this one but I'm gonna sell these pots two big pots and two small pots yeah okay so now here we have our pilia pepperomioides let me move this out of the way so you can see it right there pilia um this I have a love-hate relationship with this plant. You know, it's doing okay right now, but boy, she's fussy in my opinion. Oops, sorry. Um, this is my pitcher plant, another pitcher plant, and only it has two pitchers, and it's had two pitchers forever. But they are, they are, um, they're dried up at the top. They still feel like they're okay, but they're dried up at the top. Both of them are. See. And the plant is growing, and it even has, you know, it even puts out, it even gave me a pup. So I have like two plants in there now, but I only started as one. You see that? But I don't see any pictures. I don't know how to get pictures. I have to do some research to get more pictures because these pictures just started when, like, when I got the plant, and I literally watched them grow, and I was amazed. So I don't know what I'm doing differently, but I want to get more pictures on this plant. All right. So, right here is, I have to show you this for you to believe it. This is my Philodendron Varicosum. 
and I literally bought this plant and it wasn't doing good and I stuck it in tree fern. So it's growing in tree fern and it's been putting out these beautiful leaves. This one right here is the newest leaf and it's absolutely pristine. It's pristine. And this one on the, from the other plant, hold on, let me turn it around, is also pristine, baby. So this plant is just growing so well right here. So I, I feel like, so you can see I staked it up a little bit because it was like falling over, but I feel like I like it like that. What do you think? I'm going to, I'm thinking about just growing it, continuing to grow it like this. I mean, there's plenty of room for it, right? Yeah. So there's that. And then here's an enormous um, Alocasia Regal Shields with the leaves, you know, the leaves are like bigger than my head. There's another one right here, that leaf, another one. No, that's, this one only has four, three leaves right now. But I hope I can find a picture of it because it gave me um, a flower, and infl an inflorescence right here from the middle. So I cut it off because it was enormous. Um, I cut it off. And um, yeah, so I've had this plant for so long. Some of my alocasias, like as you can see, you know, they suffer and they go dormant, but um, you just got to do what you have to do to, to bring them back around, you know? Um, and then this, oh my gosh, is my beautiful philodendron squamertium. Look, look, look at the petioles on this plant. Can you see what I see? I mean, these are absolutely insane. I love this plant so much. And again, this plant is growing in um, moss. This is just moss. And it's been in there for so long. And I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but look how beautiful it is. Look. Look how beautiful this plant is. I don't want to have to do anything to it. I love the way it grows just like that. Love it. Yeah, I do. Okay, so then next to that is my Philodendron Mamii. I mean... Mayoi, Mayoi, and this plant also is just growing crazy. But you see, it's not really adhering itself to the moss pole, even though the roots are like right there. It's not muckling on at all, even though I wet it. So I'm thinking about taking this off, and um, the leaves are so pretty. I think I'm about taking it off the pole. Ooh, look at that new growth. Um, and oh, how pretty! Look at that new leaf. Take it off the pole and maybe cut it up and make a big pot because I just love, I love these leaves. I love them. I think they're so pretty. Okay, so down here we have um, a Fetonia nerve plant that my son gave me a long time ago and it died and I cut it all back to nothing and this is it, how it came back. This is my really sad um, Monstera Peru. Oh my gosh. I don't think it's going to grow. I think it's probably on its way out, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't think it's going to grow. Maybe I should put it in water. It's not doing anything. Okay, so we're discovering... Oop, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. Oh my goodness, the sun's out. That's exciting. All right. Here in the back, I have my um, ponytail pond, you guys, and... It was dying. It was looking really poorly, so I cut it back, and I didn't know what would happen, and this is what happened. So I have two little baby ponytail palms. I think it's fine. This is my gorgeous philodendron pedatum, and this plant brings me so much joy. Um, just because I love the shape of the leaf. It reminds me of a Florida ghost leaf. Oh, my gosh, you guys, every single time I see anything that looks like a black dot, I freak out. I freak out. Stop it, Brenda. Rips. Um... So yeah, this plant's growing really, really well right there. Here is another um, Chinese evergreen. I probably will sell this too, because goodness knows I don't really need another Chinese evergreen. And this is my really sad lemon lime maranta. I am trying beyond anything to save it. It was dying, and I just thought that maybe I could grow it in, in pond. So I'm trying. I don't know what's going to happen. It might die, you guys. I don't know what else to do. I can't keep it happy. I can't keep it happy. 
It did not have a pest. It was not sick. It just, it just wasn't happy. Yeah, all right, there. How many times did I say it wasn't happy? Okay, this is my gigantic um, philodendron red diamond. I love this plant, except that all the extra floral nectaries that it has, that's what creates all these little annoying dots. Um, I think. Holy crap, maybe I'm wrong. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but I really need to, like, do something with this plant. It's, it's insane. It's in the way. <laughs> All right. Let's get over here. Over here. Oops, I got some dead stuff I got to pull off here. Hold on. Pull that off. Pull that off. Okay. Here. Oops, I got another piece to pull off. This is my Stromanthi Triostar. This plant grows like a flippin' weed. Look how big it is. It's just continually growing, 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 growing. I mean, it just doesn't stop. So I just repotted it. So she's a little bit shocked and annoyed, but... All right, back here is another little Pilia Tuckeromeroides that I'm trying to propagate with... Um, pond. I don't know if it's going to work. These are just a couple of succulents that I stuck in a pot and I really didn't think they would grow, but they have. And I don't even know what this is, but it's the only one that I have and it's in this pot. <laughs> um, back here I have growing in um, tree fern some global green pothos pieces. Here is where I cut my, this is my silver sword philodendron. I've cut it and cut it and cut it and cut it so many times. Um, but recently I'm super, and the pieces that I've shown you that I have, you know, like in jars and stuff. First of all, I overwatered it. Um, look what I did. I overwatered it so that it got these bubbles. Um, absolutely. And it's in many of the leaves. I was really sad, like here's another one. And many of the leaves were damaged because of that. Um, but today I just noticed that it's got, look, it's got new growth here and here and up here. So I'm not sure, I might like, I'm gonna see what's gonna happen here. If these grow, I might just cut the tops off and leave it in this pot, we'll see. Over here is my Buddha's belly, which is just a really unique plant with a cool codex. And, um, which is something unique that I had to have at one point in time, but the leaves are super cool looking, I think. Buddha's belly. This is my ice plant. Um, it used to be huge. This is all I have left. I killed it. This is another, um, stapelia that I just had to pot up. These pieces right here broke off of this plant. And look, I have another one too. So annoying. Put you right there. So I just had to plant that. This is a gasteria that falls over constantly that I don't even like anymore. And I still have it. Oh my gosh, why? <clears throat> I don't know. This is another um, Burl's Tail Cactus with super good growth. Um, my favorite kind of growth with Burrow's tail, and I know I've told you guys this before, but it's supposed to be like full sun. And if you get it, you should be able to see the little, the little twisted pattern. Um, and I only have a few strands that do that. Like here's another one, beautiful twisted pattern. Love it. So yeah, there's a, um, Burrow's tail cactus, another gasteria. This is a little warty, pretty. This is the top piece that I cut off of my um, Audrey right here. So it's growing very, very well. I don't know if you can see it too good. Hold on. It's growing right here, my Audrey. So I probably will end up putting that in the bottom of the pot in the other room. Probably. So back there is my Syngonium Chia Pence that I'm forever cutting. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful plant. She's on a moss pole. She loves it. This is my Philodendron McDowell. My pride and joy. She got thrips and um, I battled. Cried. 
and uh, treated and treated and treated and treated and treated. But finally, this is the newest leaf, hasn't hardened off yet, but it's already putting out a new one, another one right there. And this is a new leaf. And of course we have this one that is a new leaf. So, and I've just sprayed them all with like neem oil soap today and stuff. Because I just feel like I have to constantly to make sure that they're going to be okay. So, yeah, that's my McDowell. And over here is another cute little succulent. Um, some kind of a sedum or, I don't know, echeveria, but it's super cute. And then back here is my Stefania erecta that I may have killed. I would like to ask any of you that know, please comment below. Right here is kind of soft, but it's hard underneath. It's, it's oh, yeah. It's, you know what? Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I lost it. Oh no. Oh man. All right, this is, this plant right here is really, really, really cool looking. And I never remember what it's called, but I got this plant and it's at the same place where I got like um, the Buddha's belly and the sea grape, um, just unique plants, but it's called Ripsalis. Agudionis Nepal. And look at the new growth that it's giving me right now. Super, super, super pretty. Lots of new growth. Look. Oh my gosh. Wonderful flowers. It's never flowered before. So, so that's my Ripsalis. Another Ripsalis. All right. Hold on because the bottom fell off and she's going to need that. Okay. Down here, I have another Graptivaria that doesn't look much like a Graptivaria because um, it's a tile It is all get out, but this is the best sun. So um, I have a couple of more Stapelias here um, that um, haven't flowered yet. Um, Stapelia giganteum. That's what the bottom one is. That's the only gigantium that I have. Um, this is the Kalanchoe Copper Spoon, which I have a love-hate relationship because I dropped it and knocked the top off too many times. Um, this is my Anthurium Crystallinum. And, you know, I feel like she's struggling right now. I feel like I need to educate myself more. Like, look at this. This is This leaf is... Um, Got probably got rammed up against something, but um, it seems to grow pretty well right here. This is called a silver quill, I think. This plant, and I just repotted it. Um, it grows really, really fast, but it's again, I repotted it, so it's still in a little bit of shock. This plant is called Moses in the Cradle, and it's not doing very well. I just potted it up recently, and it's really struggling, it's not doing well. I'm not sure why. I'm going to keep my eye on that. And then back here is another one of those. I, I cut those. Remember that paddle plant, that jade plant? I cut those pieces off. These are the pieces, and this is what they look like. So they're not going to make it. I don't like the way that looks. So that will be in the trash heap pretty quick. Here is another Ripsalis that I have. Let me move these out of the way. A really big one. It's growing. Look at all the new growth. If you look up here. See it? It's just growing, 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 growing. And um, I just love these. This one has not flowered either, which I wish it would, but um, it hasn't yet. But there's all this, the stems are like really vast. It really needs to be hung. And I also went right by this plant. Let me put it back where it belongs. Okay, this is another succulent. Um, it used to be in the kitchen. And I don't know what kind it is, um, but it's, it's got the, the ruffly looking leaves. And I love this plant. I love the way it grows. I just put it in here recently because I wanted it to hang because it was, it was on a shelf and it was just, but look how beautiful this plant is. I love it. And then to finish off down here, there's a little piece of dust. This, these are top cuttings of my, uh, my ogre ear. So these did take and they look pretty good. And there are at least four pieces. I think I lost one. Oops. Right there, maybe. Um, 
Well, hopefully I can save that. This is a, another piece of a, um, better not be a thrip, another piece of a, uh, I think this is a piece of my um, Philodendron Gigantium, and it's growing, so that's good. This is another Stapelia, and another Stapelia um, that, you know, you can see I've been cutting pieces off because they haven't been doing very well, so this is my little Gasteria, um, I think it's called Green Ice. Is that what it's called? Yeah, green really nice, just like the one, the other one. These are, um, oops, there's another piece that broke off. Um, these are called, oh my goodness, I forget, but they're, I forget what they're called. But they live like, you can like take a piece off and it will just live on its own for a really long time, whatever that means. And this is my beautiful bromeliad which has flowered and it's got a pup actually it has a couple of pups and i need to repot it desperately i am not I'm not a very good plant mama sometimes and over here is my beautiful rabbit's um rabbit's foot fern i moved it it used to be underneath there but i moved it and it really squawked and i lost a lot of fronds but it's putting out all sorts of new fronds and she's just going to be fine. And then this is just a propagation bottle with a bunch of, um, oh, well, that's trash. A bunch of uh, <clears throat> golden pothos pieces. So, yeah, this these are the plants that live in my plant room, my sunroom. This is where I do most of, this is, this is what the floor looks like now that I've been talking to you. There's stuff all over the floor, trash. Um, I repot my plants right here typically on a mat. I have the humidifier running just about 24 seven and the humidity right now in this room is 60 degrees. I, I wish it would stay that way, but typically it doesn't. So yeah, this is my sunroom slash plant room. I hope you liked. All right. So there. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much again for taking the time um, to watch. I really enjoy making videos. I don't want to stop, but I'm getting discouraged, you guys. But I hope you like this one. I'm going to be putting probably one up a week for the next month to try to get things back on track. But I hope you enjoy this video. In the meantime, listen, until I talk to you again, take care of yourself, take care of your home, your people that you love, and stay connected. Thanks again.